Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So I just sat down to have some coffee and make like a little bit of a to-do list today um, because I'm working on a lot of fun, very time-consuming projects. And I wasn't planning on filming today, but I was like, I feel like the process can be one of the most interesting parts, especially, you know, if you're just starting out as an artist or somebody that wants to get into like curating and things like that, which is one of the projects that I'm actually working on. So I was like, why don't you share like this part of the journey and just like sit down and tell people like all of the, the fun and challenging things that you're doing. So first of all are we in focus because that's always the question so i have to go in like 10 minutes because i have to head over to my studio because like i said i have a lot of work i have a really exciting announcement that i can't wait to share with you guys which is i am curating my first ever collective show at the convent so this is something that i've been wanting to do for a while you can even see like on my wall that i wrote out curator curator <laughs> So I, I can't forget. And the reason why I wanted to start getting into curating is because I want to be able to, you know, like lift up other artists around me that I appreciate and to, yeah, like orchestrate things and um, create events. And so I saw that there was a big absence of, you know, like women artists, like doing things, like being represented. So I was like, hey, if you want, to be a part of something, create the opportunity to yourself, you know? So yeah, we're around 15 to 16 women artists, all like different practices um, in this show, and it's a women only show. And I really wanted to do this because like, as I talked about in my later videos, you know, women are so underrepresented in this space and um, our perspective is important and we have things to say. So yeah, the theme is going to be God is a woman, which I think is really fitting because of the space itself and also, you know, dealing with all women artists and like, I think that the theme is open enough that there's like a lot of things that can fit under that umbrella. Um, and so yeah, it's going to be sculpture, installation, performances. So it's gonna be the last weekend of November, the 26th, 27th, and 28th. Um, on the Friday, we're gonna have like a huge vernissage, like a big opening. I'm curating it, but I'm also showing work as well. And that's what I'm working on today. I'm doing a collaborative installation with um, a sound artist and it's gonna be super fucking cool i'm so excited um so right now i'm working on like this huge throne um which i'm gonna show you guys later today and the idea is like once the visitors come up and sit in the throne music will start to play and um yeah it's a lot of things technically so i'm working on that and like trying to organize all of this because the thing is the convent is going to loan me the space but the exposition is auto dirigé so that basically means auto directed so i have to do like all of the organizing for like the program the technical um stuff which is like you know like how are the projectors gonna run you know like um if people need certain material for their performances things like that um that's all on me baby because i'm organizing it and i'm i'm, I'm inviting artists to participate but it's really like falling on my shoulders, which I think is gonna be a great experience, but also um, it's a little bit stressful just because it's a lot of things, like even just, you know, posters, like creating a Facebook events, like all of these different things. Um, and as well, because of COVID, we have to have somebody um, at the front door like scanning to make sure like that everyone has like their COVID pass and things like that. So I think it's gonna be really fucking cool. And I'm so excited and I hope that all, all of you guys that are in Paris will come um, to see because I really like the people that I've asked to participate have been artists that I have um, really admired for a while that even maybe you've seen in some of my other videos like painters, um, you know, sculptors. And I really want like the exposition to be like really pop and fun. I just want it to be like something that people go to and they walk away like feeling inspired, you know what I mean? So yeah, anyway, I thought that it would be interesting to start filming this process now because yeah, I have high hopes for it, but as it's like the first time that I'm ever planning or organizing anything like this, you know, I'm sure that there's going to be obstacles. 
I'm going to the convent today. I'm going to be working on the installation piece. It's been a while since I've done like an actual studio vlog. So I thought that would be cool as well to like show you guys what I'm working on. Um, and I'm going to show you guys like the different areas that the exposition is going to take place in and like my ideas for it and things like that. Um, so I'm going to do that today. And then tonight I'm going to be going to a gallery opening in the Marais, um, which looks really promising. And so maybe I'll try to like capture some images of that. Yeah, this is the beginning. It's going to be like a lot of big challenges, but I hope that I'll learn a lot and I hope that, yeah, I hope that it can propel female artists forward. So let's go. but I think I'm gonna take the bus today because I'm running kind of late and I also have like this giant salad <laughs> and knowing me I could drop it just got to the convent oh, it's so beautiful out today so I'm gonna have like my breakfast outside I went to the boulangerie like I do most mornings <laughs> and I got um, a croissant and uh, a yogurt and that'll probably hold me over until like three or four just because it's so like the croissants are like <laughs> and um since they're made fresh I don't really feel like they're that bad for you <laughs> like me trying to justify it um yeah like i try to just like have like a balanced meal of things between like things i actually like and like have carbs and things like that with healthy things so and things that i can get like fresh here <laughs> i won't just go to like the store to get chocolate i actually go to like the chocolate maker because i'm like if it's gonna be the same price why don't i actually go to the person that like specializes in making chocolate you know so you know let's eat I just got to my studio and as you can see it is such a mess um 
but that's because I've been working a lot. And this is the throne that I was talking to you guys about earlier that I'm gonna be working on today that is gonna go in my installation. I got the chair off of Le Bon Coin and I thought that it would be like a good base for the throne. They call this um, une chaise Voltaire, en fauteuil Voltaire because of the shape. And um, yeah, basically I've added these little things which are going to um, serve as like the sort of like decorative part of the top part of the throne. Um, covering the entire chair and like plaster and like all these different like objects it's just gonna be cool i think i'm actually either i'm gonna add flames um to the back of it so it looks it looks like the chair is on fire or i'm gonna add angel wings because it's like god is a woman so yeah so i'm in like the plaster stage and then after that i'm gonna add resin to it so yeah, like I said, I'm just like in the early stages of it, but I wanted to show you sort of like the process of making it because I think when it's done, it's gonna look so sick. I think I could finish this in like a week, but like the whole installation part is gonna be pretty difficult, I think, because I want it to be elevated, probably at like the height of this table, so that when you walk in, you have like this chair that looks like it's like floating on this sort of like rocky white mass. And um, then I'll have to add in like little um, stairs so that people can walk up and sit on it. And I want it to be safe. Like I don't want people to fucking like bust their ass on my <laughs> installation, you know? So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty busy day. And also it's so dark in here. Lately I have to add in like floodlights. And I feel like I look like a mad scientist, but whatever, biatch. Let's have fun, let's make art, 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 let's have fun and let's make art. Coffee break. I wanted to show you guys some like books I got at the thrift shop the other day. <laughs> Not even the thrift shop, like the flea market. I, I don't even have a cat. This is Bien connaître votre chat. Um, so um, <laughs> get to know well your cat. Um, and I don't have a cat, but what I thought was cool about it is the painting, like not the paintings, the photos are so pretty, like the, <laughs> I say the photos are so pretty and I fall on this one of like this cat eating a bunny. <laughs> but no, like I love like photos from the, eight, like photo books from like the 80s and 90s because I just feel like the the colors are so pretty because they're like taking on film, taking on film, you know? So I thought it would be cool to have like this is like um, a reference for paintings and things, you know? And then I got just like, I like to collect painting books because it's always nice to just like flip through and have some references, you know, for inspiration and things. And then I 
just got like a Picasso. I don't, I didn't have like any Picasso books. So I was like, you should probably have like, even though he's like a, a not a nice person, <laughs> he wasn't a very nice person. Um, I still think his paintings are really good and the colors and stuff are really inspiring. So I just got this one and I got all of those three books for only $5. Five dollars. Oh, I love that one. Look at that. Are you kidding? So yeah, when I'm finished with it, I don't want like the chair to be able to be detected at all. I kind of want it look to look like it was like made from scratch from the ground up. But obviously, like I don't have a lot of time, so I thought this was like a good base. Um, and you can see like all the textures, and I'm gonna add. Um, like a lot of details up here, maybe like some ceramic hearts and things like that. I just want it to look like a very pop and cool and like just like a throne fit for a queen. to get any plaster in my salad. I'm really excited like how it's gonna turn out and you know what I've realized is like making work for an actual show instead of just like making work not knowing what you're gonna do with it later or who's gonna see it. It's a lot more motivating I feel like because I'm like okay like I know people are gonna be able to come and see this in person and it's really exciting you know. Um, I wanted to say as well that I was like overwhelmed by how many messages I got after my last video talking about the fact that like I'm not <laughs> I don't feel like the need to be in a relationship or like I don't feel the need to have like somebody I, I don't know like how I got on that subject in the last video but I was talking about how like you know I'm so invested into my projects and everyone always asks me like so are you dating are you dating when in reality like first of all like it hasn't been that long since like uh, my divorce and then second of all like I, I just don't feel like I need that and I feel like fulfilled with what I'm doing you know and it was actually funny because I was talking to my sister as well I was like maybe like one of the reasons I cut my hair is like it kind of I know like guys typically like longer hair and I just feel like I want to look cool I don't want to look pretty I want to look cool <laughs> You know, if I do end up with somebody one day, like I want to be appreciated for like my mind and my all the things that like all my passions and things like that. And I feel like, you know, having maybe like the reason another reason I cut my hair is like not ever, it's not like the prettiest choice. You know what I mean? Even though I, I like it, but what I'm saying is like you know, historically most people prefer long hair. So I don't know. I just don't want to be preoccupied with my looks. I feel like as girls, like we're so pressured to like be beautiful and like, you know, there's that halo effect thing that we like appreciate people more, the more beautiful they are. But like, and even in romantic settings, like by people's looks, it was more just about like their style and like their swagger. <laughs> like if they had like confidence in their looks, you know? Also, I bought my ticket to go back to the US for the first time in like a year and a half. I'm gonna go for like a full ass month. Okay, it's a little less than a month. It's like the 6th of December to like the very end of December. No, it's like the 6th of December to like the very, very end of December because I haven't spent Christmas with my family in the last like nine, 10 years. And I was a little nervous to choose Christmas because I feel like Christmas is like the time that people are like high in stress already and I didn't want to like add to that as like a guest but I think it would be fun to like decorate with my mom and like make Christmas cookies and like see my niece and things like that. I think it'll be fun to do like videos with my family. Like they're really fun. My sister's really fun, my brother's really fun, my mom and dad as well. Mm. My mom is actually learning French because she might move here one day. 
So maybe I'll try and do like another French speaking video with her. <laughs> so that was really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna finish eating my salad um, and try not to get any plaster <laughs> in my salad. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys. I like, yeah, I wanna show you guys um, the area that the exposition is gonna take place in so you guys can like see what I'm planning and stuff. Um, but first I wanna thank today's video sponsor, which is Langoda. So, for those of you guys who don't know, Langoda is an online language school. They offer classes in German, Spanish, French, English, 24 seven from anywhere in the world. I've been working with them for a while because as you guys know, I really believe in their method of teaching, which is getting fluent fast by speaking and actually practicing the language with native qualified teachers. Many of you guys have done their sprints, but they also offer month to month classes and they really just make it easy for you to find a rhythm that fits with your schedule, whatever that is. I've personally tested their classes and what really makes the difference is you get to pick classes that really interest you. For example, if you want to take a class about, you know, like philosophy or art, you do that, but you also speak in the language. So you're really getting practice speaking about subjects that matter to you. So if you would like to get serious about learning a language and get fluent in that language quickly, maybe have like a big trip coming up, the holidays are coming up, um, I would highly recommend Langoda and they're actually offering a seven day free trial so you can try it out for yourself. And if you use this code, you get 30% off your course fee. So try it out, you have nothing to lose and thank you so much again to Langoda for sponsoring this video. So let's get back into it. So the first area of the exposition is here in the oratoire. So this like mini little chapel and you can't really tell from the video but the lighting is so beautiful because of these windows it has like this really pretty yellow light that shines through and um i'm working with uh with a light engineer guy <laughs> i don't know what that's called like a light technician um to make sure like the place is like lit up nice because so he's gonna come in and like light up the exposition so yeah obviously like when you walk in like this is pretty central like what you see right here so this is what i thought um where we thought we would do like um the installation and um yeah we're gonna have like paintings along this wall um there's a mirror i like the mirror but i think like we lose a lot of space with the mirror so um but i do think it's cool like with the theme like god is a woman like when you walk in and you like see your own reflection in the space i think that's pretty cool so yeah, gonna have paintings on the wall and um, like some sculptures on the ground. And yeah, this is the view from the other angles. So yeah, it's a pretty beautiful space. Like I think it's gonna be so cool to do an exposition here. I think the thing that's gonna be most challenging is just like the lighting because you know I don't want it to be like overpowering because this you know it does have like a nice ambience already. But I do want to like put um, you know les œuvres. En valeur. So yeah, that is the first space. Look at these windows, aren't they just like gorge? All right, moving on to the second space. So like I showed you guys, there is an outside space as well. I'm really excited for the part um, that's gonna be taking place in this courtyard because it's so beautiful. And um, yeah, we're gonna do like performances. Um, I'm gonna try and get like a DJ set, food, and all that out here, which is really nice because, um, yeah, like there's even like this little stage, and um, I think it'll be good as well because of like COVID restrictions. It'll be easier to like people can see the exposition inside and then come out here, and then there's gonna be a girl that does like an installation. Um, here and then yeah we're gonna have like performances so this is one area of the exposition that i'm really excited about um and yeah it's just so dreamy and beautiful so, 
So the next inside space is going to be just like this area here, which is a bibliothèque. I don't know if there's people in there, I guess. J'ai filmé un truc, donc si vous voulez pas être dedans, <laughs> désolé. So, so this area is going to be um, the area to screen the videos for the exposition. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna black out the windows and then um, and then we're gonna screen the, the videos in here. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, they lent me this. I think that's gonna be pretty practical for the bibliothèque. Alors voilà, ça c'est Arona. Alors yo, bonjour à tout le monde. <rire> Arona's Kitchen. Bienvenue, Arona's Kitchen. Donc Arona Donc, qui va faire le nourriture pour l'exposition. Exposition, exposition voilà. vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Voilà, voilà. Trois différentes bouffes. <rire> Et, euh, voilà. Bienvenue. Et c'est lui qui fait le repas. Voilà, enfin, c'est lui qui fait tout fait maison. Exactement. Comme prévu. <rire> Merci. Merci. Au revoir. Voilà. <rire> So yeah, there's a lot of space to work with and I hope that all of you guys will come and I can't wait to see, like, show you how it evolves over these next few weeks. just got home and um, have like an hour or so before I'm set to head out for this exposition tonight um, but I thought like I would work on my vision board a little bit because this has honestly been like months in the making like I've had I had to like source all the images and then print them out and now I'm going to put them on here um, but it's taking me a long time and I don't really know why um, just because I wanted to be like super specific this time so I thought I'd work on that for a little bit I wanted to show you some of the images on my vision board because they might inspire you as well. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like my dream apartment one day. I don't know if like necessarily by the sea, but like, gosh, this would be so wonderful. Like to live in a place like this, it's like peaceful. You can like paint in. I do like having like a studio that's separate, like my art studio is separate than to where I live, but this is like the dreamiest, the dreamiest place ever. Let's pretend that we're just like, you're just like walking into my apartment. <laughs> SJP, SJP, my girl. I honestly should not be putting this on my vision board because I already eat like a croissant today and I'm gonna turn into a croissant <laughs> if I don't stop but I just like this image because it just reminds me like to take it slow and like all the things I love about Paris um, and about living here you know I like to put things on my vision board that like I already experienced and have and like that I am grateful for as well as, as the things that I would like to manifest but um yeah <laughs> I just know seeing this every morning is gonna make me feel so good. Like, there's nothing like feeling like you are at your place and that you belong. Because <laughs> it just like reminds me of girl power and like female camaraderie, which is like something that's so important to me. But people on there that really inspire me, you know, like Nikki de Um She, uh, this is one of her artworks that I really love where she would take a, a gun and she would shoot eggs and there'd be like paint inside of them and she was also like a really important feminist uh, artist
guys so that about sums up this video i wanted to film an outro because i didn't film one that day and i didn't want to end the video without saying how much i love you guys and i appreciate you and i'm really excited to start sharing this next journey of like curating this exposition and everything you know like all the obstacles and like things that come up along the way let me know if you guys liked this video if you found it interesting at all because this is pretty much the content you can expect from me over the next few months is like art studio vlogs tomorrow we have a big patreon halloween meetup i just got my costume today so i think that's gonna be really fun and i might vlog that as well so yeah there's a lot of fun stuff coming up so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe um you can subscribe to my patreon as well if you want to support what i'm doing as well as i do podcast episodes over there meetups zoom parties and it's a really fun and creative community as well as it's my six month anniversary for my poetry book that i published so if you guys are interested i will link that down below as well so i love you guys if you made it to the end leave me a comment that says spicy october okay <laughs> Love you. Bye.